get all the way to the floor. Charge. have control. Does that make sense? All the way to the witch's cackle. Now, the witch's cackle. What's your name? Mom Offinger. First year as mom? First one. What do you like most about Actually, it? Really, this is my 15th year as a mom. But a band Technically, mom. Technically. <laughs> favorite part? Band mom year two. Favorite part is hanging out with all these little kids. We're having a great time. Least favorite part? Um, dropping off early morning for band practice. Thanks, mom. Who on the wedding? He has his shirt on. Use, hey. the, use your spray. Where's Annie? Did anybody know? She's giving me screaming. Yes. Hang in. Go. Why What's not? your name? Sam. What do you play? Alto saxophone. What are you doing right now? Brody's hair. Why? Because we have a competition and I have to do his hair. How many hairs do you do a week? 10 to 15. On Too many. What do they pay you? Nothing. Fries. 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 Get the fry right. tax. Yeah. Favorite part about band? Competing. Competition and winning? Yeah. Least favorite? Hot summer practicing. You mean doing do you like hair? having people do your hair? No. That's a yes or no question. My it really is. Shake and shake three. My drink. Why did I do this? I know. Hey, Dad. This is a painful experience that. Where am I? This is a torture experience. This is the torture tuba room. room. Is this where the tubas live? Yeah. Sometimes. Hey, Mr. Ellsworth, how are you doing today? Doing well. It's heading into week two of competition. What are you looking forward to most? Well, tonight we're going to put on the third mover. And so we actually learned it within a week. And we've been working the music a little bit longer than that. But then as far as the drill, the production of it, or the choreo, uh, choreography, uh, that happened within a week span, and um, today is going to be the first day that we're going to put it on. So I'm really looking forward to see how that uh, is added to what we already have on the field. So up to this point, what has been the most challenging thing that you've experienced I this the, year? I think the most challenging thing is always trying to get everyone to coordinate together to get the show out. There's a lot of moving parts. We've got kids in multiple activities, which we're really proud of that they do multiple things. We've got injuries and sickness. We've got um, a wide variety, a variety of age ranges. Um, and so I think the challenge is always getting all of those stakeholders uh, together and moving towards the same goal. And that's not just here, that's everywhere. And so that challenge is, is literally what the show's about, gathering people together um, so that we can move forward with the program. I think that's the most challenging thing and it's definitely what the first two movements in the show are about. Um, so, and we're getting through that. We're ready for the third number, so we've already got those challenges solved. Up to this point, what's your been your biggest uh, pleasant surprise? I think that we have a lot of middle schoolers, a lot more than nor normal, especially eighth graders, um, and their improvement, their enthusiasm, how they have added to the program and accepted their role and also have accepted the expectations has been like the biggest surprise. Not that I didn't think they could do it, but that's a lot for a, a middle school student to handle. They've done great, and to some extent, um, they're some of our best leaders. So, nice surprise there.
we need to get the fourth number on to complete the show, complete the production. And so uh, it's not a very long movement, but to get a completed show out there so that we can start honing things in and cleaning it um, and then adding some production value. That's going to be the next task. Already started working on movement for musically, and then hopefully in the next couple of weeks we'll be able to get um, the drill on, the choreo, and then finishing the production so that we can get it, um, you know, semi-state and state level. How have your expectations been, Matt, so far this year? Yeah, we've definitely raised the expectation level, um, but not really as far as the performance quality or the, pra the practice quality. Um, it's really just how we're going to rehearse the expectation of what we're going to do uh, from a day-to-day -day basis. Um, that le that has been raised a little bit, or at least changed and altered to um, this kind of new standard that we're setting. Um, but kids have handled it well, and you know, the overall morale and mood of the group is, is extremely good. Uh, always going to have a little bit of, uh, of issues that pop up in here and there when you have this many people, but really the kids have handled, handled it really well. And so, yeah, we're really excited, um, you know, about the most we're guaranteed right now is um, really about four weeks, uh, three or four weeks. We have to earn our way uh, then on out to semis and finals. So six weeks is really the maximum amount of time we have left. Some of that reality starts to set in. Um, some of the seniors start getting a little bit nervous. Some of the younger kids are thinking, six weeks, I can make it. Um, but we got a lot to do in six weeks. Thanks, Mr. Ellsworth. Good luck today. Thank you.